folks i'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, so many of you out there who responded to my appeal to put yourself in the mailing list yeah because of the attack we are under okay some very powerful people in the republic of kenya want to shut down this channel somebody asked me on the channel um whether uh, the guy stopped disturbing me well and i responded to her i just told her that uh, these people never stop it's their job yeah and i have no doubts as just to how determined they are that the people will not know the truth yeah that change will not come to kenya these guys are very determined and they can do anything to make sure they achieve what they want to achieve but uh, kenyans to go tired yes uh even buyer kue noma kiumane we are ready i think that is very clear thank you so much for your messages of encouragement i tried to respond to one or two yeah in the email you know in the list i gave you and it was impossible they were just overwhelming the hundreds and hundreds therefore please accept this as my very sincere thanks from the bottom of my heart to all you people send me very encouraging messages bible verses yeah thank you very much i read each and every one of them okay and i continue to read them okay thank you very much god bless you god bless kenya indeed we also need to pray for some of these people because they are completely blind they cannot see okay uh, of course you know one of the chief people involved uh, has been accused in the past of hacking into the icc yeah getting very sensitive details about witnesses yeah against some very powerful people in kenya etc etc of course some of these activities are uh, well you can't get away with them and definitely they'll not stand the test of time okay so you need to pray for them that they see light because you cannot uh, hide under the skirts of a leader and say oh this guy will rule forever oh <laughs> change is coming to kenya my friends yeah so take heart guys but pray for these guys yeah very confused people who are trying to ch- shut down this channel indeed how many people have we seen yeah who have done that work for the gyms yeah and we have seen how they've ended so what the, some of these people are telling us is that they are different they are special okay now uh, in the other channel which we are trying to bring up right now I I have a series on a man who's called Ezekiah Oyugi. Okay, very powerful man. Yeah. I mean he saved the president's life yeah by carrying him in the boot of an old 44 uh Pujo. You know the old Pujo 44s it used to have a huge boot. Yeah. And from there the relationship was such that he was untouchable. But what happened to him in the end? He was actually murdered in a hospital in London by the government. Yeah. So <laughs> read history bwana those guys trying to shut this uh, down this channel bwana read history bwana yeah eh uh, bwana itumbi so my history i know you're a tech guy yeah mass communications you should know history bwana just read history what happens to people like you okay in the end yeah because you cannot uh, expect a human being to protect you rather trust on god In fact the Bible has a very powerful verse where it says the man who trusts in, in uh, somebody who trusts in a man is cast yeah it says that very clearly okay and i believe what is said in the bible is true it's a manufacturer's handbook yeah the person who created us yeah so if you see a manufacturer's handbook on a, on the Toyota vehicle you're driving and then you try and do things different what results do you expect yeah <laughs> yeah what results do you expect The manufacturer is telling you iko hivi iko hivi you're saying no mimi ndo niko na akili iko hivi na hivi what do you expect so if you're somewhere doing dirty work for a regime yeah going against the will of the people helping a regime to suppress people to suppress the freedoms of uh, god given freedoms of people yeah not even democratic god given yeah uh, i suggest and i advise strongly that you stop and ask yourself what are you doing will it stand the test of time yeah what will happen to you tomorrow if things change yeah these are serious questions you need to ask yourself and if you think you're very smart just remember dunia hii dunia ina huruma hii dunia haina nini haina huruma now i mean just stop for a minute and think the whole of kenya wants change everybody is crying for change yes in an earlier recording i did a very difficult recording for me because i was trying to get an idea across yeah and i'm not sure if i got it across 
yeah i talked about the common man the masses yeah people who are hungry and they're going hungry and they're prepared to go hungry for change now that is dangerous it is good because we want change but then from an, from a human perspective these are people who are prepared to do anything and they're not one or two people we're talking about millions of kenyans do you think you can stop those people even if you have all the guns in the world all the military equipment all the equipment to spy on people and track them down and jail them or msando them do you think you can stop those millions will you kill all those millions ai just stop and ask yourself simple questions my friends and there's even a more uh, pertinent question you should ask yourself yeah when this long night this long dark night for kenya ends yeah and we breathe uh, uh, in the new you know we see a new sunrise a new kenya yeah how do you think uh, those who are helping uh, the regime to suppress people how do you think people are going to take them how do you think people are going to treat their families yeah you go somewhere introduce yourself you're not even the person i'm the son of so and so i people just look at you another way yeah so those people remember if you have children and if you have relatives uh, you're enjoying now yes but uh, in future your relatives and your children will have a very difficult time because the masses are fighting for justice yeah they're fighting for what is just yeah and you're going against the majority who are fighting for justice hey uta survive aje family yako ita survive aje the other side now i know you guys like stories eh so let me finish with a personal story yeah that illustrates everything that i've said here and everything that every kenya needs to do for a better kenya yeah and even for a better future for yourself and your family yeah it's a very interesting story now um my dad used to really like uh, shakespeare's julius caesar yeah he used to quote long passages from it of course he was not a very schooled man yeah he had very very limited education but uh, he was just unique he used to quote long passages from uh, julius caesar by the way julius caesar is a political story eh? Anyway, though this passage was very very fond of quoting. Yeah, where uh, Mark Antony is addressing uh, people at the burial of Julius Caesar, where he says, "Friends, Romans and countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones." Yeah, he used to really like that passage till I knew it by heart. Yeah, from a very young age. Okay? Now, something very interesting happened after his death that proved uh, shakespeare was wrong i went to this place with a problem here yeah? i was seeking a certain service yeah and there was a very long queue of people so i said to myself oh boy i'm just going to be here till the end of the day now i think it was this place where they collect uh, your personal details or something like that so after a while somebody came to me and said are you so and so yes uh, how are you related to bwana so and so I said I'm his son. Ah, okay, you're so and so son. Come in, come in, come in. I was ushered to the guy's office. I was given coffee, I don't know whether it was tea or whatever I was given. And then my manenos were dealt with there like uh, a very big boss. Yeah? And uh, you know, this is something totally unexpected because my dad was not a dear famous guy. <laughs> yeah, not a famous politician, not well known. But obviously there's something he had done that had stood the test of time. There's something he had done that I was benefiting from when he was in the grave. So when Shakespeare you're wrong, yeah? When uh, people are buried, the good is not interred with their bones. Yeah, sometimes it remains. Actually I was joking because uh, Julius Caesar says oft interred, which means it's often interred with their bones. Si kila wakati, yeah? But uh, sometimes, most of the times, often, yeah? Uh, the good that a person does is buried with them. Okay? the evil lives long after them i think that's also important for kenya right now eh the evil lives long after them yeah so uh, but i benefited yeah so i was one of those few cases where the good was not interred with the bones yeah think very hard my dear fellow kenyans whatever side of the political divide you are in think very hard until next time this is chris kumekucha